Hey guys, today I have a quick haul from Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby, I think that's it. And then I was going to show you guys the cards for Cubs that I'm working on, and that's through Barely Arts. So just, I didn't think I had that much, and then I put it all on my table and thought, wow, I kind of have more than I thought. So the first thing, I'll start with Dollar Tree. And I grabbed the, you know, I can't stand the bags, so I had to take everything out of the bags. I grabbed this garland, which is absolutely adorable. And I, I stuck some of my eggs in this basket just so I could keep track of stuff because I'm kind of moving stuff around, getting Valentine's Day put away. And in order to get to Easter, the Valentine's stuff has to be moved. So I'm kind of pulling Easter out. But these are really, really cute. So they, I feel like this is an upgrade with the little cotton tail, but I also feel like they might look better if we doubled them up. I don't know. You could easily sew these on a project. So I got two of these and I wondered, you see they're a little see-through if you kind of, now that's, I mean, this is going to a little bit of an effort instead of just like popping it up and hanging it up. But yeah, that, Oh, you would have to take the tail off. Let's line up the ears. And yeah, that makes it a lot less see-through. But I mean, a $1.25 is a reasonable, if not good price for this item to me. I, I'm, I haven't fully adjusted to the $1.25 increase, which is keeping me from going crazy in the store. But look, here's all the colors. You get the hot pink. He's a little bent. You get blue. This looks like a different shade of blue. So you get a little bit darker blue and then a sky blue and then a light pink and a yellow and a green. They're, they're, oh, and then an even darker pink. So you get three shades of, I think. Is that, that looks like three shades of pink. Yeah, that's definitely three shades of pink. Cute. So I just thought, even if I don't use these as garland, they're a great shape. This is a great bunny shape. And I thought I could use these. They could be so cute sewn on a pillow. So I, gra I grabbed a couple of those. I grabbed some of the sequins mix, but well, the sequins that they come, this is one pack. And some of the items I got for a dollar and some of the items I got for a dollar 25. It just depends on if the store you're in has, they have all rolled in my area to a dollar 25 now, but it just depends. So I just kind of wanted people to see, it looks like, like this one, there's more than this one. And then there's more of this one. It's just random. So if you're looking for a particular color, and this was all one pack and you know, it kind of waterfalls down so you can see them. I just, I'm trying to stay organized and keep everything in my little sequin box. If you are looking for a particular color, you might kind of want to flip through and see which one has the most of the color you're looking for. So this one's, these are very, right here, these are very St. Patrick's Day like those. I think this is a reasonable price, $1.25. It's, I don't use a ton of sequins. I don't make sequin mixes. I'm very picky. I kind of, kind of pick and choose through my sequins and do individual mixes, you know, for my individual shaker. These were the pinks and I do not think there's a red in here. There's, cl that's close. That's raspberry. These two look identical to me. So it looks like you get two of those. This one, this one, this purpley one. I like these. These look the same to me. And this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to see, are these all different colors? These are the same and these are the same. Now I didn't notice that in the blue. Where did I put that? I don't even know. Oh, right here. Let's see. Just kind of check, because I've never bought sequins from them before. These all look different. Yeah, these are all different. The pinks and that purple 
you get repeats. So you might want to look for that too. It could just be a quality control thing. This is Hobby Lobby. So I grabbed these, Simply Home by Nikki, grabbed these and said she was thinking about doing something with them. Well, see, I love candy like this. So my daughter and I have eaten all but two of these. <laughs> and we are, I'm just, I'm like, okay, now save, save the carrot. Somebody might do something fabulous with it. So if you get this, and I think they'd be cute propped up in a tear tray. They're cute kind of sitting like this in this little, this little pot and these are teeny pots these are from the dollar tree i grabbed pots and i grabbed these are in the wedding section these were in the gardening section these were in the wedding section and just so you know there's three in the old bags and the old bags were to the back there were two bags of these in the back and then they had replenished with a package of two and it also came with white ribbon, but I didn't need that. So I just tossed that. This, I thought this would be cute. Look, that's cute. So with a little bunny or something in it. So I grabbed those just for tiny little Easter things. And I was able to find this. This was the color I was looking for. I didn't need anything but the lilac in this. And I don't know that I'll use it, but it's nice to have. And you get quite a bit of this. So I got that grab the ribbon because I noticed I went to three different Dollar Trees over the past like week and a half. So this is all I got over the last week and a half hitting three different Dollar Trees. Some are getting stuff in, some are not. And I technically hit one Dollar Tree twice. And I mean, they had some eggs in, which I grabbed yesterday and I'll show them. I'll show them right here and then in another basket. But, um, they're not getting a ton of stuff in. Everybody had the ribbon, but it was like almost gone. So I got one bunny at one place and another bunny at another place. It was like, I got this at one store. Isn't that beautiful? And this at another store. And I mean, they're pretty much out. So I, I don't know if they're getting more in. I would assume they were. Now I noticed two out of the three stores had these. One was almost empty. The other one, they had just pulled the box out. So I just grabbed two bunnies and one egg right directly out of the box. They just had the box open and sat on the shelf because they know the crafters are coming in. and They're going to clean us out. No need to merchandise it. Every single store had these, but it was one case of each. So it's kind of like if you're looking for something like of anything that I've shown, I've seen all of these except for the eggs in all the stores. So I got the chicks, the eggs, the bunnies, and the carrots. The carrot is really cute and they have a carrot garland that they have coming out that I've seen like people in California haul. Somebody who has a lot of good hauls is the queen and she has i mean she just i think she said she's in orange county and if you want like a preview of what's coming she sees everything so these were the four designs that i have seen i think these are the ones that are offered but then the carrot garland they have is like checked there's a black check like a buffalo check there's an orange check maybe a green and a purple i i it's really pretty. I really hope to come across it. I can't, like, I can't justify buying a case of that. And these, I also noticed, I was looking, they have reduced their shipping. Oh, gosh. There was something that they have. There's, like, a big brown plastic bunny. Like, aren't these cute? It was just these four bunnies. And they're big. They're bigger than an average egg. Here, let me get an egg. Here's, like, a glitter egg. See how much bigger that is isn't he cute so but pay attention in every package but this one the blue guy's nose was messed up so just you know look closely if they don't have it just get it and fix it with a marker but I mean, they had just put this stuff out and they had these which i always love and i just think these are the cutest because they you know they sit but i i always love these and i use these for decorations these will probably be used for goodies uh, um, back to shipping they reduce the shipping I put two or three things in the cart just to see 
like, should I get these? Shouldn't I? They're offering just four of each and it was $7.99 shipping. So it's still in the back of my head, but I also know I'm going to be going to the stores and I, I, you know, I don't want to be frustrated because I paid shipping and now they've got them in the stores, but they do have those bubble gum machines. You have to buy them in a case and they have the bubble gum machines. And I think the shipping was maybe like $9.99 on that case. So it, they really, so thank you Dollar Tree. They have reduced the shipping and made it more reasonable. Okay, so we got the carrots. We got the four little bunnies. And now all these like one, one container of carrots was three. So I think one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, one I bought for a dollar. And then a few days later, I was in and they were $1.25. I mean, not a big deal, but it does help me like kind of rein in my spending because at one, you can do the math real quickly. At $1.25, I mean, it's like you then got to go, well, I got four and then now that's $5. I, I can't like, and I need to not buy so much. So anyways, there's that. Here is the this is a little basket i have but i wanted people to be able to see this is one container of these and how pretty are these now i did notice on one of them like you can see the egg is blue you can see the egg is kind of gold so you just have to sit up this one the egg is blue let's open one see she has a little boo-boo but okay so the egg is blue and there's glitter all in it but they're really cute. These are just, I'll put this one at the bottom, kind of put stuff on top. And these are just going to sit somewhere in a corner looking adorable and sparkly. And that was $1.25 for three, six, is that 10? Three, six, nine, 10. It looks like 10 eggs. I just bought one and I think it was, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I just bought one. So forgive me if I got that wrong, but I think I just bought one. Okay, so we've done that. We've done all the Dollar Tree. Then I have some stuff I ordered last week from Hobby Lobby. And it came in. And I ordered, this was spring, so it was 40% off. And if you look real closely, there is an iridescent thread that runs through that that makes this so pretty. It kind of takes it from being real natural to kind of sparkly and like it just upgrades it a little bit and the, be the little wooden beads and hopefully I'll use this I didn't use the valentine one but I grabbed that these I grabbed who was let's see crafty kimchi was making it was kind of like a keychain it was with you know a little hook Let's see, let me grab one of these little hooks and she had some beads on it and she spelled out a word and then I think she spelled out someone's name and she covered the crimp bead with one of these, they're six millimeter glass seed beads, 2029981 is the number on this. These were on sale, uh, I think 50% off. So I, I grabbed, you know, it was just, it rotates. That was last week. So they probably won't be on sale this week, but maybe next week. I'm not real sure how they do that. These were on sale too. All the beads and stuff were on sale at Hobby Lobby. So I, I grabbed these because it looked real pretty on hers. And I had like a crimp bead cover. And I was like, oh, this would have been so much prettier. And then I wouldn't have to crimp it down. And sometimes, you know, your hand slips or you crimp too hard. So I grabbed these and I thought, well, let's get an assortment of colors. So this one's pink mist. This one's roses. And this one's like snow, snow. And you can get just white, just clear, just pink. But I thought it would be better to try it out. And these things are huge. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inches long. <laughs> and maybe like a half inch in diameter, maybe even bigger. That's a ton of these beads and they're beautiful. And I thought this would be good Easter colors. So these are what I use for my pokey tools and they were 50% off. They come in a like 
they are shipped to their stores in threes. So if you order three, they come all nice and wrapped. And then I just keep them in their package. I separate them and then keep them in their package. So they were, they're regularly $2.99. So you can get them for $1.50. These I paid full price for because I, I was trying to get to free shipping because they were having free shipping as long as you hit a certain number. And I can't remember that number. It seems like it's like 70 or 75. I can't remember. It might be 50. I, I, I don't remember. Um, this doesn't look like $70. That must have been 50. So I grabbed these. So when they're 40% off, they're going to be a great deal. But these, I could not live with myself if I had have missed out on these. But I will say, when I was in the store, they had an absolute ton of these. So an absolute, they're, they're, um, they look wooden. They look like painted wood. So I grabbed two of these, so I have these. And then I grabbed these. I didn't see these in the store. These are absolutely adorable. But they were also, I'm gonna say they were $2.99. And you know, it might be that they were intricate. But these are little resin flat backs. They just were flat back bunnies on the package. And a little piece of fuzz or plastic. They're plastic and they're teeny tiny, but they're absolutely adorable with his little purple bow and her little pink bow or her purple bow, whichever. And you only get six in here. So that one was a little pricey, but at 40% off and they're well-made. That will be, that will be nice. And they appear to not be painted except for the bow. They appear to be the solid color all the way through. So that's nice. I grabbed these little resin flowers. I didn't think they'd be this tiny, but my goodness, they are cute. And I'm thinking these were $2.99 and these were $2.99. They're really cute. So those are adorable, pretty Easter colors. Then I just grabbed, since these were 50% off, some of the three inch, what are these things called? I can't think of the name of them. Eye pins. I grabbed the three inch. They didn't have gold in stock. And then these I grabbed. I grabbed these from Valentine's Day on sale. These are so cute. And you don't get that many. Let's see. I think you get one, two, three, six. There's the little guy with the heart that he's hugging. The little guy holding a heart. And it's just, the, it's just three of each. They're really cute. They're stickers. And they were 40% off. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Hobby Lobby has reduced, at least not online. I haven't seen that they have reduced these Valentine things any more than 40%. Now, these are the gnomes for the Easter. So, those are the Valentine gnomes. And these are the Easter gnomes. They're huge in comparison. Okay, they are really big in comparison. They're twice the size. So he's holding a little egg. I think you get nine of these. He's holding the carrot. They're really cute. And so, you know, it looks like he did, they're sticky, but you can pull the mishap off. And then this one's holding an egg outward. But look at them. They're like three layers. One, two, three. Like when I initially received it, I thought, this looks like way more than nine, but they're layered. How cool is that? So they're, they, and they were regular price and I think they were like $3.99. So I just, I, these were, these were four things I did not want to miss out on. And I was trying to reach free shipping. So I, I grabbed them because I can only ever find these online and when they're in stock and on sale i'm like oh let me grab a couple so i think that's it so the only other thing that i have got going on is i am doing i agreed to do the cards for cubs so mommy and me crafts is doing something really cute she is each week making a card and she actually sent me a little instagram message and said, you know, which I'm sure she did it to a bunch of girls 
at said an Instagram message could, you know, it would be great if we could participate. And I was like, well, let me see if I have time. So what I did was I just went down and made a few cards. So I haven't made cards in a while. And I thought, yeah, I can totally do this. So then I signed up. So when I signed up, I read it and I realized they want birthday cards or encouragement cards or being the key, not birthday and encouragement cards. Because you can't do five and five. That's what I was going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 10 birthday cards. I started with encouragement cards, but I don't have enough encouragement items. So I'm going to stick with the birthday stuff. And I have found so many things that I've forgotten I had, like digging through my birthday stuff. So I went ahead and made this one. And this is with my new Michaels paper. And I will just, I just have happy birthday stamped in there. So this is a KS craft eye, I believe. And this is Michaels paper. This I made with, I think this is a KS craft eye. And then this is a pink fresh. It's a, it's a stencil. So it's a, it's a stencil. And then I used my Distress Oxide in Worn Lipstick. And then I covered it while it was still wet in Kitsch Flamingo in the embossing glaze, just to kind of bring it up a notch. And it turned into this fabulous like coral color. Isn't that pretty? Top that on there and then I will stamp happy birthday in there. This one I made with a Michaels paper pad. I think um the fur I don't know if I have it right here next to me. I think I may have put it away. But I've got this Easter basket. You hear an avalanche. It's the Easter basket. Okay, though this paper pad is because you guys might have this. This one is this this paper pad um i don't know what the name if it has a name maybe best yay ever yeah so i use this paper pad and on one another one oh i use this paper pad so i'll get this out um so anyways sorry okay so i'll put this so i did that, that cute and i thought well these are really turning out to be maybe like older kid or teen and I thought well you know what I need to make a little kid one but I had I used the inside to make this one maybe for a girl who doesn't like as much glitter and then I just because I did a test run on it trying to figure out how to do the dye and this is at scrapbook.com shimmer pin where is that thing it's like the wink of Stella I am just loving that pen right now. I don't see it, but it's, it's shaped like this, like the Wink of Stella. I don't know why I don't see it, but then I did this with my new Cricut paper that I picked up from Amazon, and I can't remember who makes this stamp. It is an older stamp. I do not think it's available anymore, but I have two different kinds of balloon dies. So this one's more of a round with a, a non-stitched edge. And then this one has a stitched edge. So I did these. I thought, more maybe more girl, maybe more boy, but whichever. And then these were the encouragement. And I wanted to show you a mistake I made. So if you decide to do this, like just think about the size of the card and how fragile parts of it are. So I'm trying to stay very flat because I don't want to put a lot of dimension. I thought foam was okay because even if it gets squished, it'll pop back up. That should go through beautifully. And um, the Cards for Cubs, if I didn't mention it, is through Barely Art Glue. And I've used my Barely Art Glue on all of them. So this was an encouragement card I made. And this is from one of the Michaels paper pads. Isn't that cute? So if anybody has this pad and, you know, if I have more time, I'll make more. But I, I thought, you know, a, a donation of 10 is, is reasonable. And it will probably encourage me if I do 10 this year, then I'll do 10 again next year. But if I go crazy, I might be like, oh, don't, you know. So anyways, I did this one. And this is this guy right here. 
This is by Stephanie Bernard. I assume it's still available. It's a it's a framelit die. I made this one and then it had because of this, like I inked the paper and I sometimes will ink paper and then I will save it and have a notebook with folders in it and I save all my paper. And so I thought, you know what? It's gonna need a special envelope because it's an A2 card till you put that cherry on top. So it needs to have a little bit larger envelope. Don't do that <laughs> because then I read the instructions and you need to separate your envelope from your cards. These two would never find each other again. So I will save this for someone in the family. And then the same with this one. And I made an envelope out of, you know, some cardstock. And it's just, I can save these. And it's nice that I have a couple extra. And, you know, this, this, I mean, this could actually be used as a birthday card. You're as unique as a unicorn. Happy birthday. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Do you think that could be used as a birthday card? I don't know. Tell me what you think. Um, and then this one was another Michael's pad that I did an encouragement. We cannot direct the winds, but we can adjust the sails. But, you know, it's good to have this stuff in your stash because I am forever. Oh, no, I don't have a card and their birthday's going to pass by. And I'm a card maker. So, you know, it doesn't look good. But <laughs> so that is what I've been looking on. Let's count and see how many cards I actually have made. And I really tried to put a lot of thought and care into the card. So I've got one, two, three. Oh, I just love that one. Four, five, six. Oh my, so I'm almost done. And there's a seventh one over here that I'm still working on, but I'll show it. This is from Simon Says Stamp. It's a shadow box card and it, it mails flat and it goes into an A2 envelope. Now behind these two guys, like I've got a sheet, a little, little piece of acetate here and a piece of acetate behind his branch. And I used Lawn Fawn animal stamps that I had. And a happy birthday, I, I'm not sure where this one came from. Like I said, I was digging through my stash, trying to find all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to put, these are from Tim Holtz. They're from his there's a little tiny, it's around here somewhere. I think they went through his sidekick and I can't remember what he called them, but they have, I, there's a birthday one and I'm going to stick some of these in the back and I will show a whole card for cubs when I get it done. But then on the back, there's a spot where you can you know, leave a small message. And I figured for a small child, you don't need a big message. They could print something nice. I plan on doing two of these. I thought this was more boy centric. And then I'll do another one that's girl centric. But isn't that cool? So, and it lays flat and it should mail wonderfully. This little limb is getting stuck back there, but I don't think, I don't think anybody will have any trouble with it. So that is what I'm working on. That's what I've picked up. And I'll keep you posted if I find any more stuff at the Dollar Tree. But I think I'm going to take a break and maybe not go back till maybe the end of next week. See if they get a few more things in. So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. You have a great day. Bye.